How are we doing there boys and girls? Mantis here and welcome back to another video. So today it's time to talk about a little add-on that's absolutely crucial to me in my day-to-day -day legendary crafting operations. We've talked about this add-on a little bit on the channel previously but since that point it's massively blown up and has had loads of new features and functionality added to it and is absolutely a guaranteed must-have for anybody dealing with legendaries. Now that we know that patch 9.1 is going to you know, legendaries are still a thing. We know how the legendary, the new, uh, the new rank five and rank six legendaries are going to be crafted. There's a lot of people out there that are trying to look at their legendary professions, and they're at least trying to unlock rank three. Because of course, with rank three unlocked, you'll be able to uh, instantly start crafting rank fives once we get into patch 9.1. So keeping, you know, on curve. Uh, but the add-on we're talking about, let's dive straight into it. Is called Legendary Stock Tracker. Since we last looked at this, uh, there's a whole bunch of things that have changed. But every time I bring this up on stream and go to use this, I instantly get a whole bunch of questions of like, ooh, what is that? Um, and so we're going to go through what it can do, how to use it in a little bit of detail today. And I highly recommend you guys go out and get it. Now, first and foremost, how do we get it? Well, if you happen to use... Uh, CurseForge or well, I'll leave a link to this down below you can download it with whatever add-on client that you use but legendary stock tracker is now relatively easy to get your hands on just a simple CurseForge LST uh, Google search it will now pop uh, pop up and we uh, it's doing all right it's now had over nearly over 11,000 people have downloaded it since it was implemented into the game and I can guarantee most of those have made a fair amount of gold with the legendaries in some part because of this add-on it's a very very helpful tool to have in your toolkit um, why do we need something like this though well first and foremost it's because unfortunately trade school master still doesn't properly support uh, support legendaries it's still soon to come uh, they're working on it apparently uh, but it's still being uh, it's slow it's hella slow last time I made a video about this add-on was on the 31st of December it is now I want to say is it the first or the second of June it is now the second of June we're we're nearly we are we are five months past that uh, past the last video and trade school master still hasn't had an update so things like these are absolutely crucial but what is this? What are all these numbers? What do they mean? Uh, and how can we use this little add-on to our advantage? Well, it's relatively simple. It's going to list every single legendary, uh, every single legendary slot. So you've got the Shadow Gas, the Umberhide, the Bone Shatter, the Grim Veiled, and then at the bottom here we've got the Jewel Crafting Ring and Necklace. And it's basically a little bit of an inventory management tool, but with the benefit of showing you what some of the profits are, which. <laughs> Let's be honest, if you're in the gold marking, uh, gold making game, you want to know where the profit is, right? Um, to nobody's surprise, on my realm at least, rank 1 is what I consider rank 1 hell. You have to get yourself out of rank 1 hell pretty quickly on most realms to start seeing any profits whatsoever. Last time we looked at this, you had to sort of take this information and export it into spreadsheets and do all sorts of funky stuff with it. But since uh, it's been worked on pretty heavily and is now no need for spreadsheets, that would be a good thing for some. Some, but you can still export all of this information out to a spreadsheet. If you use my Shadowlands spreadsheet, for example, you can see here the tab is still there. You can still export the data. And then, of course, you can do your spreadsheet wizardry and your magic with it. But for the most part, this is a uh, surplus to requirement anymore. It can all be done locally in-game. Um, taking a quick look at the settings then, this is, this is a, a significant difference to what there was previously. Before, there was basically no settings. It just piggybacked off the back of Trade School Master. But one thing you can do now that's really, really smart is ignore Trade School Master. Um, this is actually really crucial, right? Selecting LST Crafting and using LST Crafting as your price source is way more accurate than what most people would have set up with Trade School Master. Um, it seems counterintuitive to people that have made gold for a long time in the game to not use TSM, but in this scenario, trust me, LST crafting is far more better, uh, much, much better at calculating the prices of the different items and indicating to you what their potential profit is. You can also set restock amounts, which is quite cool now. Um, you can say, right, I actually want to stock one, two, three, whatever, however many of them that you want to stock. 
and you can set things like the minimum profit before restocking. Um, so you can do some funky stuff with this. Uh, the 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 op the main operation of this is obviously you're going to keep track of how many that you have and when you press the restock button it's going to basically tell you that you need to craft X Y and Z now previously like we said you got to go into spreadsheets you got to do all sorts of crazy stuff but that's not essential anymore if you happen to be like me and have an auction house character and a crafting character let's jump over to our crafting character here what you can very easily do is share the information between your different characters. Now, of course, if you do it all on one character, you can skip this step. But if you share it, share the information across, which can be easily done, if you go into, where is it, the settings here, you can send all of the information that Legendary Stock Tracker knows about how many legendaries you've got and the profits and that sort of stuff. You put in the character name of, the, the, uh, of your crafter and you send the data to that alt. Then all of a sudden you'll open it up and hey presto that same information appears here and you can do your restock, you can open your profession window, open your profession window and with the default, doesn't even need to be TSM, the default crafting window you get this magic little button down here that says craft next. So if it shows on your list, it will then go out and it will it'll try and craft it. Now the likelihood is, is I probably can't because uh, <laughs> I've run out of shadow gas ingots for the moment. Uh, but if I had the materials available, I could kick, click craft next and it would just work its way through this list for you. Making the restocking of legendaries really, really simple, uh, really straightforward, completely removes one of the most frustrating aspects of dealing with the legendary market. Um, it's just knowing how many you have and where they are and whether they're valuable or not. Um, this little add-on now is absolutely wonderful for anybody dealing with legendaries and is a high, high recommendation. Now, it's not perfect. There are occasionally going to be a few teething issues. One thing I would highly recommend anybody do is actually read through the FAQ. Um, the developer of this is a, is a long time viewer of the live stream and the channel uh, and so I was frequently pestering them to put a frequently asked question uh, page. They have uh, and it's, it's well worth reading through if you have any issues with it. Sometimes you may find that the inventory numbers don't make perfect sense but there is some um, sort of some sort of limitations with add-ons in World of Warcraft that everything can't be perfect but if you have any issues have a little read through it um, I don't want to gloss on this too much because for the most part it's plug and play which is the really nice thing about it all you need to do is make sure that legendary stock tracker knows where your legendaries are so just do a couple of basic things on your auction house character um, make sure you open your mailbox and you open your auction house and you open your bank just so that the add-on knows exactly where all the items are. Once it knows where those items are, it can work its magic pretty much passively, giving you a nice simple list of what you need to recraft and what 50,000 gold profit for Shadow Gas breastplates. Wow, I guess I do need to do some restocking. Um, but yeah, it's a cool little add-on. I don't want to go on too much about it. I'll leave the link down below in the description where you can pick it up. Um, if you have any questions or queries or issues about it, there is a Discord link for direct support. And of course, it, it wouldn't be me if I wasn't to plug my own Discord at this moment as well. You can jump over to the Mantheus Coffee Club Discord and you can get a bunch of help there if needed as well. But I'll leave it there for today, boys and girls. I hope this is uh, useful to you. The add-on has saved me so much time. And with people trying to get on board with legendaries and rank up relatively speedily so that they're ready for patch 9.1, it's all the more beneficial. So, go out there. Have a little play with it. Get crafting your legendaries and happy goal making, boys and girls. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.